So before we jump into the juicy topic for today involving Avengers Endgame and the re-release re-release of the film, I just want to say right off the bat, we all know why they're doing this. We all know why Marvel is doing this. They are trying to beat Avatar in the box office. They want to be the number one movie of all time. It's completely obvious, so let's let's not make that into any sort of discussion for this video. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to what I actually want to talk about in today's video, which is the fact that the footage that they're going to be putting in Avengers Endgame will be unfinished. Which boggles my mind, okay? So, you know, I was actually excited about the, the footage that they are going to show. I was interested to see what they were going to show. I was probably going to be going to go check it out. But, we have here a further development on this, where Avengers Endgame re-releases exclusive footage that will be unfinished. The deleted scene included in the Avengers Endgame re-release will be unfinished. Earlier this month, Marvel made headlines when it was announced the massive blockbuster would be returning or more realistically re-expanding later this month with a new version that features some post-credits credits surprises. The original version of Endgame broke MCU tradition by not having any stingers, an intentional choice since it marked the end of a story, but Kevin Feige confirmed the so-called Bring Back Edition will have extra treats for those who stick around. Since then, fans have speculated what would be shown after the credits. While there's no shortage of rumors on the topic, Marvel has remained mum, which makes sense. If fans knew ahead of time what the deleted scene was, it might influence the, their decision to buy a ticket. And that's not what Marvel wants right now. However, there's one bit of information that's been confirmed. What are, whatever the deleted scene is, it won't have completed visual effects. So, you know... This is not a good thing. Now, let me just say this right off the bat. Um, we don't know what the scene is going to entail. It could be just some sort of dialogue scene. And if that's the case, then visual effects aren't going to be that big of a deal. Uh, and that that makes sense. But if it is some sort of, uh, you know, cosmic scene or something, or some scene involving some new character that we haven't seen, or something along those lines, maybe something from uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, I don't know, something along those lines, then, um, and, it, and the visual effects play a big deal, and if they aren't finished, that's just gonna be really crappy, that's gonna be really crappy. Now, um... I don't like that. I don't. I think that if they are going to release anything in theaters that people are going to be paying money for again to go see in theaters, that it should be a completed, uh, a completed footage. It should be completed, uh, so that fans can actually feel like they're getting their money's worth for going back to theaters and paying what like twenty bucks or whatever to go see this movie again. Um, and uh, the fact that it isn't completed isn't really good on Disney or Marvel, I don't think. I don't think that that's a really a good decision on them. And honestly, if people find out about this, it might affect if they go see the movie or not. Um, I am kind of questioning now if I want to go see the movie. If I want to go pay money to see unfinished footage in the theater. Uh, I was already kind of like, I was kind of on the fence if I was going to go see the movie again or not in the first place. But this kind of pushes pushes me on the side of being like, eh, I don't really know if I want to go see this movie or not. Um, let's see. Based on the terminology and the specification of Unfinished, it sounds like the scene was left on the cutting room floor early in the process and may not even be that important to the overall plot, which is kind of what I was expecting anyway. Um, whatever it is, the filmmakers didn't want to spend too much time on it and finalize the special effects since it wasn't going to make the theatrical cut. Whether or not this eliminates the Morgan Stark Soul World sequence remains to be seen. That scene was screened for test audiences before it was removed from the film, but it's unknown if it was finished before it was cut. Regardless, it would probably be best if fans tempered their expectations and anticipated something other than the Soul World scene. That always seems seemed a bit heavy and plot-centric for a post-credits bonus. Um, so... Yeah, there isn't really too many details on what the the scene is going to be. Like I said, if it's just a dialogue scene, then that's fine. Visual effects aren't going to be a big part of that anyway. But if we if, <laughs> if we get into the theater, there's like, you know, green screen pieces all over the place and stuff. And, you know, unfinished visual effects, you know, kind of like, uh, I don't know, like the 3D skeleton type of stuff or whatever. Um, then that's going to be really cringy to see. So, I don't know what it is, um, but 
but I might still go see it. That way I can kind of let people know if it's worth going to check out or not. Um, like I said, none of the footage that they're going to be showing is probably going to be anything that is going to be really that important anyway, because the Rousseau brothers, I mean, the Rousseau brothers made a three hour movie, basically keeping anything that was in the slightest slight bit uh, important in the movie, because that's what Disney and the Rousseau brothers agreed on. But on top of that, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I just don't think that's really a smart thing of Disney or Marvel or whatever to be releasing unfinished footage in the theaters, getting people to pay money again to go back and see the movie. That's just not good. That's the bottom line of it. Um, so we'll have to wait and see if it's if it's as bad as it sounds like it is or not. We'll have to wait and see. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to be going to see, uh, going to see Avengers Endgame in theaters again? Uh, with this new re-release type of thing, or are you not? I would love to hear what the people of Geeks and Gamers have to say about that. I'd be really curious to see kind of where, where everyone lies on that. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksandGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.